Hey, what's going on guys? Let's start off with a cube as an X to scale on X axis. First step is to create a grass blade. Tab to go to edit mode. Switch to a face selection mode with three on your keyboard. Select the face and E to extrude. S to scale. Select the bottom face and E to extrude. E to extrude again and S to scale. Tab to open the object mode. Go to the modifiers tab and add a multi resolution modifier. Subdivide a few times. Right mouse button and shade smooth to smooth out the faces. Tab to go to edit mode. Go to the viewport overlays and turn on the origins so you can see where is the origin point. We'll rotate a uh, grass blade based on the origin point, so it needs to be at the bottom. G and Z to move it up. Tab to go to the edit mode. Activate proportional editing. In the settings, select connected only. Select the top vertex and G to move around with the, the proportional editing on. R to rotate to give it a nice curved shape and G to move and move it around to give it a more interesting shape. Ctrl R to add an edge loop, S and X to scale up on the X axis, but reduce the proportional editing size. N to open the right side panel, increase the crease to sharpen the edge loop to give it a more stylized look. Reduce the number because it's a bit too sharp. Go to the edit mode, select a top vertex and scale it down to give it a bit more sharp look. Shift D to duplicate in the edit mode and G to move. Shift D again, S to scale and R to rotate and G to move. A to select all, Shift D to duplicate all, G and X to move it on the X axis. G again, Shift D to duplicate, R to rotate, S to scale, and G to move, R to rotate, A to select all, Shift D to duplicate, G to move, and S to scale. Remember to move your grass blade on the x-axis to give it a bit more depth in the final bake. It will improve the ambient occlusion map in the final bake. And we will use that AO map to create a more interesting looking base color map. Turn off the connected only in the proportion editing to modify the whole grass mesh that we've just created. Select the vertices and G to move them around. By doing that, we're trying to give it a bit, a bit more natural or random look. So select more vertices and move them around. Select some of the repetitive grass blades and move them around so it doesn't look so repetitive. We want to have some variation. Select half of the grass blades with L and scale them down with S and G to move. S to scale and G to move. G and X to move on the X axis. G and Y to move on the Y axis and G again. 
select one cross blade with L, Shift D to duplicate, R to rotate, G to move, Shift D to duplicate again, L to select the second one, G to move and R to rotate. L to select the whole cross blade and S to scale and G to move. L to select another cross blade. S to scale and R to rotate. Turn on proportion editing and turn on connected only. We want to modify just one grass blade at a time. We can also change the shape of some of the grass blades with the proportion editing on by clicking on vertices and moving them with G. We can also press R to, to give the grass blades a nice curve. Press the top vertex and scale it down, so the grass blade is a bit more sharp at the end. Scale some of the grass blades at the bottom. The grass blade shouldn't be so big at the bottom, but it depends what kind of look you're aiming for. L to select the grass blade and G to move. Press tab to switch the object mode and select the grass group and move it to the center. Press tab to go to the edge mode, select a few grass blades on the right and duplicate with GD. Select two more grass blades and we will have just three different grass blade groups. Shift D to duplicate, G to move and R to rotate and do the same for the rest of the grass blades. R and Y and type 90 to rotate by 90 degrees. G to move and move them around so they fit in the plane. They have to fit the plane because we're gonna bake them to the plane mesh. In the object mode, select your grass meshes and move them to the middle so the plane mesh intersect with them and the grass meshes will be baked from both sides of the plane mesh. You will be able to change the distance uh, from which the baker will bake the grass meshes inside Substance Painter. You can put more foliage like flowers or leaves in the empty spaces so it's not so empty at the end. So we use the whole texture and we don't waste any space. We will now set up ID maps, switch to the material preview mode to see the materials, create a new material, give it a color, select some of the blades, we are gonna apply our second material to those meshes. Create a new material, it will be based on our previous material. And click assign to assign the material to those meshes. And we will use the ID map to give some variation in the color. Some of the grass blades will be a bit darker and it will give some nice fake depth in the color texture. And this is the end of part 1. Hope you enjoyed the video. In part 2, we're gonna bake the textures from the high poly to the plane and then we're gonna create textures and export them to Unreal and set up the material.